An inexperienced Army women's side fell behind to an energised London Broncos outfit midway through the first half of their Super League South encounter. With Broncos bearing down on the Army line, the Army defence got themselves in a muddle and Courtney Treco was the beneficiary to dash in unopposed for an unconverted try. The home side were quick to hit back. Within a few minutes, they had taken the lead. The ball made its way to Angela Carr and she broke through the Broncos' line to barrage her way over for a converted try and put the Army 6-4 in front. Carr crashed over for a second try minutes later with an almost carbon copy run-in. Having escaped the despairing clutches of her rivals, she trundled her way to the line for another converted score. Despite Carr putting them in the driving seat, the army switched off just before the break. Jess Ingram darted over from short range for a converted try and Broncos trailed 10 points to 12 at half-time. The second half saw the visitors take control. Iona McCusker buried her way over from close quarters for an unconverted try as Broncos nudged 14-12 in front. And the London side claimed a deserved victory when Kay Selby powered her way across the army line. Jubilation for the Londoners, disappointment for the army, who must regroup before facing Bedford Tigers in game two. I think uh, we could have had some more prep time. Um, we're missing quite a few players, but the girls that are here have really showed up and done well. I think uh, we, we do need some more practice on our basic plays because I think they, they've only scored off our mistakes and that's um, from miscommunication and maybe um, a little bit of inexperience in some of the girls, but I am really chuffed with how everyone's performed. It is great that the Army have been invited or you know, been asked to, to be involved yeah. in this. So what do you think that says about military rugby league? I think that we're going forward, we're leading, like we're making history, like especially when we won that um, Challenge Shield. Uh, we made history then, being the first army team to win setting of that standard in a civilian um, competition, and now we're in the civilian league. So, yeah, I think we we are the trendsetters. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos like this.